Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over the new DCU movie news from James Gunn. And he has just revealed to us that there's gonna be a new movie that will include Dick Grayson Robin and Jason Todd Robin, and it's gonna be called Dynamic Duo. So in the post, he has stated, over the moon, excited to announce the newest DC Studios slash Warner Brothers picture animation greenlit film for theaters, Dynamic Duo. The story of Robin, or should I say Robins, as in Dick Grayson and Jason Todd. The first feature film from the Visionary Swaybox, a mix of animation, puppetry, and CGI. A script from the wonderfully talented Matt Aldrich, produced with our partners at Matt Reeves, Six in Idaho. This is gonna be something special. Now there was a lot to unravel in that little post that he James Gunn posted. So basically, we're gonna get um, an animated movie with a mix of animation, puppetry, and CGI by by Visionary Swaybox, which they have released a few animation animations and. It, I would just want to say it looks the animation looks interesting and it could even be it could even be life changing for the movie industries but at the, uh, that's that's how I feel on the one hand and then on another hand I feel like it could fall into the same uncanny state that um, motion mocap movies like the adventures of Tintin or the what is it called the the express train but but I think I think I know I know they're taking a risk with this animation and but I applaud them but the question is do we want uh, Jason Todd and the Dick Grayson movie and I think the answer will be yes. I think a lot of people will, will be looking forward to this. A lot of Batman fans, especially the Grayson fans. I don't think... I think people are just going to be hungry for Dick Grayson, Nightwing media. Especially Jason Todd media. Because I know I know there's a lot of Jason Todd fans out there. My, uh, my first introduction being to... Um, to him as Batman in Batman Arkham Knight as the Arkham Knight when it was later revealed that he was in fact Jason Todd trying to get revenge on Batman but but my case is that people people eat up Batman stuff people love the Batman character and his mythos if you have if you have media that has Batman in it all Batman related characters people will eat it up people will Buy it, want it, watch it, anything. So, do I think this movie's gonna flop? No. I am interested in what this story is gonna be, and I'm and I am more interested in how this movie will affect the DCU that James Gunn brings to bring together to the table, because he has stated that there's gonna be video games, there's gonna be cartoons, there's gonna be TV shows, movies that all connect together. While you won't necessarily have to watch one to understand another, like the MCU, there there will be overlapping characters and the consequences that will will that will will you know they will transparent from movie to movie. And because I because I know that J James Gunn also wants to introduce Damian Wayne into the mix in Batman the Brave and the Bold which is the new Batman movie that James Gunn is also producing with with the Flash director and I mean I'm, I'm glad to see more Robin because ever since Batman and Robin back in 1996 or 1997 I'm not sure I got fact check that you know for some reason Warner Brothers hate Robin but thanks to James Gunn he could probably bring the Robin persona back to the mainstream and we could possibly be seeing a lot more Robin movies from then on. So yeah, this was just a little bit new, a little, some news on like the, the DCU. 
and creature commandos comes out soon i'm still excited for superman I re i'm really curious on how that's gonna turn out but yeah you guys tell me if you guys are interested in the movie below in the movie and see you guys next time have a good one i just uploaded a vlog on spare halloween but yeah you guys have a good one and i'll see you guys next time